used to think that fall was like my favorite season and now recently I think it's spring because as much as I love the idea of like layering and stuff in fall anytime I do it I naturally overheat the moment I go on public transport or the moment I go into a store I'm just too hot where in spring I just love how like I typically stick to like one, two layers max. Everything's a bit more like flowy and relaxed and just breathable. So I thought today I'd put together like some of the spring outfits I'm currently wearing and also what I see myself wearing throughout all of spring. So I need to get changed, have a coffee and show you the first fit. straight into it with outfit number one to me this is like I guess in my mind like the epitome of like a spring outfit mainly because it's a brighter palette and it's also a cardigan and to me cardigans is like a spring essential so standing on top we have the New York Yankees cap this is the ALD version but you can find like this New York Yankees cap kind of like anywhere then for the glasses these are from Polo Ralph Lauren then we come down to I guess I'd say it's like the statement piece of the outfit, but it is this beautiful green cardigan, super, super lightweight, and this one is from Le Mer. And then obviously we have the Cos leather bag. Then obviously, I think it's been, it must be two and a half years now that I've had these. You've seen them so many times, the Cos relaxed white leg jeans in that kind of like white slash off-white color. And then we come on down to one of my favorite pairs of shoes as far as the silhouette. These are the Le Mer Pebble, I think that's the name of them, loafers. You've seen me wear them all the time in black. I've had the black version now for well over a year. I wear them all the time. You've seen them with so many outfits. And then when I saw they came out with a brown pair, I was like, you know what? I think it's worth the investment because I've gotten so much use out of that black pair. I think I'll get a good amount of use as well out of the brown. So this next look is kind of just one of my favorites for like two reasons. One, I think it's perfect for spring, but two, super biased because it is a full DS fit. So on top we do have the DS lightweight long sleeve waffle top. This one is a bit more of, it's kind of like a little bit more like boxier, more relaxed and it should be a little bit more flowing. We're actually also looking at doing also like a quite a like a fitted waffle top as well because I just think fitted waffle tops look great too. Then we come on down to one of the newly released pair of trousers. These are our essential pleated trousers in this beautiful, beautiful deep navy. Love these, love the way they fit. I'm pretty sure they've actually, there might be like one or two sizes left, but on the whole have sold out, so we are trying to restock those as soon as possible. And then we come on down to the black La Mer loafers. These are the black pair, which pretty much led me to get that brown pair. Springtime to me is just the perfect time to do denim on denim. I used to not be a fan of it on myself, now I absolutely love it. On top we have, I think you've seen this outfit before, I'm not gonna lie, but on top we have the R Legacy denim jacket. I think this one's from like 2020. I got this off Depop and it's a size 50. This is super lightweight. It's not like your standard kind of like denim jackets where they're like stiff. Then underneath we have the Daniel Simmons essential uh, vintage white t-shirt. This is more of that like form fitting one, which I love. Then we come on down to probably my favorite pair of black denim jeans. These ones are from Bare Knuckles. I haven't done any alterations to them. I wear, these are a size 30, like a 30 inch waist. They're a little bit more snug on me at the moment because I'm kind of in like my off season slash bulk season. And then we have the uh, Acne Studio boots on foot, which I think pair great with these jeans. Guys get a little bit too warm you then just have a very nice just simple outfit that works underneath as well so this one's again for the kind of like colder spring days playing it down again a bit more casual because on foot we do have the trusted burpin stocks which i mean like i, I just think burpin stocks are just great for like again pairing up with some like nice like green pleated trousers like these that just drop on but the reason why i like burpin stocks especially like this plays down the outfit if i wore like loafers i feel like start to feel a little bit too dressed up potentially for what I want, just running around doing errands. And also they stick to kind of like the color palette that I'm playing in. Then we do have obviously DS waffle underneath, again, allowing that little bit of texture to come through. But the main bit, favorite leather jacket is the one from Jill Sander, love this. And then I do have APC tote bag to carry any essentials or anything that I'm doing 
with running errands. And if it does get too hot, easily can take this off, put it in here, and I still have kind of like a nice fit as well. So this outfit is actually a repeat from one of my fall looks, and to me this transitions perfectly as well in spring. I absolutely love it. A flannel, lightweight, got no layering or anything on it underneath, just the flannel itself. Then once again, the cos wide leg jeans. If you haven't kind of like noticed by now, to me, just white jeans are just so good for spring. So I definitely look at investing in a pair because as you see, you can pretty much just put anything with them. Then we come on down to, now these are the Mason Margiela boots, but again, Timberland boots are a great alternative. We'll have the exact same effect. These ones are just, in my opinion, a little bit more, I guess like, smarter and just not as chunky, a little bit more slim. And then I've just kind of like thrown on the accessories. This is how I'd look if I was like out and about doing my thing. We've got the ALD New York Yankees cap and the Apple just headphones again. This is just to show you kind of like what it would actually look like in, I guess, the real world. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it when I was talking about it, but this is from our legacy. These like might look like fall outfits or like you might be like, oh, that looks like a lot of layering or whatever, but all of these materials, well, most of them that I'm using are very lightweight. So even though this is a knit, this is a super lightweight and breathable knit. Same with these trousers, flowy and lightweight. And to me, that's definitely the key when you come into spring and summer. So on top, this beautiful green sweatshirt is from Orally. Now, I've had this one for over a year now and I haven't been able to see it available anywhere. I will do a hunt, but what I will say is they have a blue one out now and I ordered it because I was like, well, this one's great. The blue looks great. It's not the same thing. It's definitely not. It looks the same, like it's the same cut and everything, but the material is very different and I didn't like it at all. So just kind of keep that in mind if you do see that blue one. Then we have the APC bag. It's just like a denim tote bag. I, I've i been using this so much. I love it. Everyday bag, chuck whatever in, chuck gym gear in, whatever it could be. Perfect for like if we're going to the beach as well. Now underneath this, I do have the DS ribbed tank, just again as another kind of like layering, and I can also take this off if I do get too hot, but right now in spring, I do feel I need this extra layer. And then we come on down to the trousers I'm so excited about. I've had these for a while now, you've seen them a fair bit. These are the DS Colorado trousers. Absolutely love them. We finally perfected them, so I'm so happy to be releasing them. These are launching at the end of April, so I'm so gassed about that because I mean, you see me styling them so much as well. And yes, I am gonna gas up my own product here because I think they're great. But what I love is that one, you can dress them down casually, wear them with sneakers and whatnot, but also you can dress them up. I wear them on date nights and things like that because they're just a great flowy black pair of trousers, perfect for spring and summer because of kind of like how lightweight they are. And they drop perfectly onto the gorgeous Le Mer Pebble. I'm gonna keep saying pebble because I just, in my head, I think that's what they're called, loafers. So this outfit is one of my favorites, so I'm not gonna lie. And I don't know if you've kind of like all noticed this recently, but I feel like I've got two main aesthetics that I would describe my look as, and it's, it's kind of like everything you've seen almost up until this point, which is like kind of like minimal, smart, casual, things like that. And then there's this side that I've really started to get into recently that kind of like, I don't know, Americana type look, country, whatever it could be, double RL, Ralph Lauren type aesthetic, which I just love. Like, And I love the two of them and I love that about fashion is that you just don't, you can just wear what you want each day. You you don't have to have a set style. You can like a bunch of different things and that that's just what I love. So on top, this shirt is from our legacy. Then we have the APC tote bag. Then we come on down to the jeans that you either love or hate. These are the Acne Studio ripped, duty, distressed jeans. Love the shape of them, love the dutiness, love the rips, love it all. And then the Acne Studio boots on foot, which I think these trousers just drop onto perfectly. And then I can easily just chuck on a hat as well. It's just another little accessory. And then we have just one of my favorite spring looks. So this outfit I consider to be a bit more of like, I guess like a chic, smarter outfit. Never gonna go super smart, super formal, but it's my vision of smart, again, smart casual. It's like, again, the way I kind of like describe my aesthetic most of the time. On top, we have this Cos denim shirt. I kind of love like the contrast stitching, like mainly on the pocket and throughout. And then I do just like, I always fold it up here on the cuffs, just because again, I kind of just like the contrast that it gives. Then we do have the DS waffle underneath. Again, it adds that kind of little bit of texture. And also if I do want to take this off, 
I still have a great kind of like just base look. Then we come on down the Colorado trousers once again, adding that kind of like smartness to the outfit. And then boom, we have the Pebble Le Mer loafers. One thing I hope you can take away from these videos is that you see me using a lot of the same things. Like, yeah, my, light, my wardrobe is bigger than some, and that is because one, I love fashion, two, it's also my job, so my consumption is a, you know, a little bit higher. But on the whole, you can kind of pick out the main things that I just keep going back to, and they're things that can just be dressed up and dressed down. Like, I think that's the key when uh, looking at like investing in a piece. That was a weird ramble. Bag that I'm holding more of this as a clutch right now is from Kos, but obviously looks great on top as well. And yeah, all together, a nice kind of like chic, smart, casual outfit thing. So next is just another simple example on a bit more of like a warmer day, no layering, nothing like that. Starting on top, we do the Daniel Simmons box fit t-shirt in black. This one has that like cropped length to it. Really nicely kind of just creates that like aesthetically pleasing like rule of thirds, you know, one third here, two thirds on the legs. Then cos, wide leg jeans, of course. And then coming down to, I'd say it's like probably like the statement piece of the outfit for the color and obviously the design. We do have the Mesa Margiela tabby derbies in this beautiful, beautiful brown. I love wearing these in spring and summer. I think it's just a great color to go for, especially team up great with like white jeans. So obviously now that we're back into spring, had to bring back the Zara wide leg trousers. Unfortunately, these did sell out last season, but they might come back this season, so do keep an eye out. I'll also look for alternatives as well. On top, we do have the DS drape shirt, which again, perfect for spring and summer because it's just so flowy and lightweight, nothing on underneath. The Cos bag and then the Le Mer loafers. To be honest, this is almost borderline something I'd start to wear in uh, summer as well. So like a lot of spring days, I couldn't wear this because I just don't think it's warm enough in London. But towards the end of spring, this is definitely something you'd see me in. Also, this is definitely like, let's take away the bag, but this is definitely something I would wear, you know, going on vacation or something as well. It's more of a, like I won't, I know it's gonna be everyone's cup of tea because I know it's more of like a, a slouchy, relaxed look, but that's personally, just what I love about this outfit. So if I'm slightly red in the face and out of breath, it's because of these damn boots. They're a pain to put on and they're a pain to take off. But I do love these boots. I think they're from last season, uh, maybe last like spring, summer or something like that. I don't quite know. I know they're not like new or anything. Uh, I picked mine up from Grailed, like I got mine second hand. Absolutely love them. I think they team up great with these jeans. These ones are from Bare Knuckles in the beautiful blue wash. Back with the double RL, uh, that deep navy knit, and then the, uh, the APC tote bag. Nice, casual, everyday fit. Got the cap as well, just to uh, complete it. And this is kind of just like an everyday casual outfit for me. So this outfit definitely gives off full vibes and you'll probably see it also come into full time and I'll probably just put a knit on underneath. But I still think it works for spring, but I'm also like a sucker for like just brown and dark tones. So it's hard for me to not gravitate towards this. Now, the main piece I want to start off with is this Le Mer Croissant crossover bag. Now, some of you might remember I had this in a large size, this is the medium size. And at first I thought the large was smart. I was like, oh, I can hold so much stuff. I can hold my cameras and it's gonna be the perfect everyday carry bag. And because of the shape and the design, it's kind of like, you don't wanna be holding a bunch of like heavy cameras in there, like the camera that I'm filming on and all this other stuff. Like I just personally found it didn't like hold its shape well and things like that. And I just, I pretty much just didn't use it. And for that reason, I ended up selling it. And then. My girlfriend actually has this bag as well. And I was like kind of gravitating towards using hers a lot. But obviously she likes it as well. So I ended up using the money that I sold the large one for to pick up the medium one. And I've been using it so much more. And I, if you're just between two sizes, in my opinion, go for the medium size. I just don't think you'll regret it. Then we come on to this beautiful brown coat, coat jacket, beautiful brown jacket. This one is from Orly. Then underneath, we do have the beautiful off-white knitted Daniel Simmons t-shirt, which I love. These are like the main t-shirts that I wear all of spring and summer. Team them up with obviously the Colorados once again. The base of this outfit, we've kind of seen that before with all the other stuff, and then the Le Mer loafers as well. 
I want to put you on to a brand that I've only recently discovered and I know they've been like around for a bit but I've just discovered them and it's these jeans here these are from the brand Edwin I've been looking for like a nice relaxed indigo pair of jeans like this for a while Cos did do a pair but they just sold out so quick it was like their rider jeans and I also found I got to try them on one time they ran a little bit short their rider jeans where I wanted it to be able to do this I wanted to be able to fold over the bottom and just have that kind of like contrast and that kind of like drape to them so these ones came in at I want to say it was 160 pounds roughly they're made in Japan I think everything they do is made in Japan Lamea loafers DS waffle very simple just a nice everyday casual fit and yeah I pretty much wanted to show you this to show you just the jeans to put you on if you're looking they do them in different colors so I like them this next outfit is like an example of what I would wear on like a colder day of spring because in London or whether you're in New York or something like that it's, it's not always the warmest days there is that kind of like transition uh, period and this is an example of kind of like how I would layer for that so on top we have this beautiful denim jacket from Mason Margiela you could find alternatives to this almost anywhere the reason I personally just love this is one the fit it is quite a traditional fit though of a denim jacket but mainly it is just that really nice deep blue color now underneath that I have this really nice soft double RL cashmere knit in this really deep navy this is the main thing that's going to keep me nice and warm and then we're back to the cos wide leg jeans and then finishing it off with of course the R Legacy Camion boots in that beautiful brown and then obviously if it does start to get too warm you can easily just take off this layer of the denim jacket and then still underneath you have a really kind of nice look here again is me kind of going into that whole Americana kind of like country cowboy uh, type fit which I'm kind of just like really in love with lately and one thing that's definitely changed with my style over the past year is my jeans collection has definitely grown like i'm a big like i really like wearing jeans now um obviously that's so normal for so many other people but for me it's such like kind of like a recent thing that i've just like fallen in love with but yeah here's a nice kind of like again casual everyday fit you can easily just unbutton the flannel again you can get a flannel like this from kind of anywhere I've got a vest on underneath and um yeah now i can go listen to uh beyonce's new album and there we have it team, those are some of my spring outfit ideas for 2024. Feel free to copy them, mix and match, make them your own. I'll obviously keep more up to date ones on my Instagram so you can check them out there. But other than that, enjoy your spring and I'll see you in the next one.